Hey, it's Major BD, and welcome to Superhero Showcase. I want to talk about Supergirl today. I just finished watching this pa yesterday's episode, Crime and Punishment, and Supergirl this season has been the best that it has ever been. This show is continuing to up their game and get better and better. This episode had everything. It had drama, it had character development, it had action. It, I mean, it continued the plot it, of the whole season. Like, so many things was touched upon in this episode, and it worked so well. So, you have the episode where Kara and Lena are at uh, the prison. They are investigating Lex Luthor's cell, which it seems like a Lex Luthor cell. Um, Otis comes and he sets the prisoners loose. There's this epic Supergirl hallway scene. And so she deals with that. Her and Otis fight. Of course, he has, Lex has put him uh, back together with Kryptonite and all. So he has the Metallo um, powers. Um, to get away at one point, she go she changes into Car Danvers uh, outfit and all. And acts like Car. I mean, she is the same person, but you get what I'm saying. Um, which she meets this one prisoner who didn't like Supergirl, but is like idolized Car Danvers, and it, uh, it's so good. Um, you have the Brotherhood of Steel sit there and get uh, deputized by the president. It. This episode is amazing. The introduction of Lex Luthor into this show has upped this show by far like a lot better than it ever has been. They are continuing to improve upon. Now, we talk about how Flash and all that hasn't had the best writing in a while. Well, I believe Supergirl has ha this is the best writing Supergirl's had in a long time. I know some people don't like a lot because there are some undertones of social uh, issues in the world today, but that's the thing. Comics have always had some elements of what the world around them, and it's just they're using their own, their own twist on the situations that's happening and putting it into the show because, I mean, that's important. That makes a show part of something. I mean, especially this episode, there was a lot, there was more action in this episode than there typically is in a, a normal episode of Supergirl. I mean, you had her fighting throughout the prison. You had her using her strength, using her powers. Again, that hallway scene is honestly one of my favorite scenes of the entire show. You had all that, and then you were able to touch upon a little bit of the, the world building. And then you also had James. Oh, James. James is dealing with the aftermath of Lena giving him the Harnell. And he's he first thinks it's PTSD from getting shot um, at Catco. But he has a spell that causes him to crush a lamp, to be able to see far away, to hear things. It's... They're actually using James actual good storyline because a lot of times James it, I feel like just doesn't need to be there a lot of times and yes he's the guardian and he, he's going through this this struggle in his head because he's the guardian he doesn't feel like he needs help when he goes to the psychologist but it it shows that he's one human um but two just it gives him a lot more character development than he's ever had in this show he if any character I feel like they could have took out and it really did not matter, it would have been James. But they're actually giving him material to work with. And it was pretty awesome. It was pretty awesome. Now, some of the drawbacks, I think. One, the Kryptonian shield is literally just covers the S. Um, I mean, that's me neckpicking, but it's like, okay, uh, I guess that will protect her from entire blast i mean they are aiming for the chest but still um i did uh, otis 
he gives more movie puns than anything I've ever seen. He gives Kermit the Frog, it's not so easy being green. He gives, uh, he, he quotes the Grinch. Like, there's a lot of movie lines this man throws out while he's fighting Super. Government coming after Supergirl, I think that is a interesting twist. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Captain America Winter Soldier, which is my favorite Marvel movie. I get elements of that and I like it. I like that twist of what Supergirl girl have to do. She's decided to lay low. So she's going to be Cara Danvers trying to investigate, which I love. It really gives that push for more of Cara Danvers because I mean, a lot of times the reporting part is just background. It, it doesn't really matter, but now it's, it, it is a focus. It is important to the show. She gets what was on Lex, um, c c secret lab computer. It is really enjoyable, but I want to know what your thoughts are. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts of this season of Supergirl. And if you've seen this episode, what did you think? Um, what was your favorite moments? And like always, I will see you in the next one. Later.